Hello and welcome back to Crazy Hank TV. Today we're going to ask the question, whatever happened to the cast of The Sandlot? Such a great movie. Came out in 1993 and I think the reason I enjoyed it so much and so many other people enjoy it is the fact that it reminds us of our childhood. I grew up in San Diego so we could be outside year round. We would play baseball, football, soccer, all the different sports and all kinds of different out outdoor activities. But baseball was my true love. I was always up for a game of baseball. I would play it nonstop if I could. And that's what kind of hit home with me. And it's also a movie that the entire family can watch. You can sit at the, I mean, how many movies can you say that about nowadays? That the whole family can sit around and watch this movie and be entertained. The movie gave us great catchphrases. Of course, the best one is, you're killing me, Smalls. Come on, we've all said that at least once or twice a month. <laughs> I say it all the time. Now we're going to take a look back at the cast of The Sandlot, starting with Tom Guyery. He played Scotty Smalls. Now, he was a kid that came to the neighborhood late. They had just lost a guy, so they needed a ninth one. Benny the Jet Rodriguez needed another kid, so they get Smalls. He's got the duck hat on. He's got the glove. He really doesn't know how to throw the ball. It's kind of funny at first. But eventually he fits in. He just doesn't know who Babe Ruth is, and that gets him into some trouble later on. Guyery, who's now 38, made his big screen debut as the film's greenest ball player, Scotty Small. He had small roles in TV and films, including Lassie, Black Hawk Down, Mystic River, and The Reverend, and currently resides in Trenton, New Jersey, where he balances work and family and acting when he can. Mike Victor, well, he's 41 played film slugger Benny the Jet Rodriguez and continued acting for several years after The Sandlot. He appeared in the Mighty Ducks sequel, D2 and D3. And his final role was a 1997 episode of Chicago Hope inspired him to become a firefighter in Los Angeles. So that's what he's up to. He, he quit acting, retired from acting, and now a firefighter in Los Angeles. Hats off to him. Next up is Patrick Reyna, who played Hamilton Ham Porter. Uh... Probably my favorite character from The Sandlot. I mean, there's so many good characters that you could pick, choose from. But I just liked him because he was the wise-cracking guy. He's now 41. This was his first major role was The Sandlot. He's worked steadily ever since. He's done dozens of TV series like CSI, Bones, The Closer. He also was in Glow and other shows. He also has he has a, a YouTube channel that I would suggest you go to check. I'll, put, I'll try and find it and I'll put it in the comment section so you can go check it out. Next up is Chauncey Leopardi. Now, he played Squints. Again, could say he's my favorite character from the movie. Again, I go back and forth with it. After The Sandlot, he had recurring roles in Freaks and Geeks, The Gilmore Girls. He's a family man now. He spends most of his time being a dad and a husband, a business owner, just working hard, doing his thing. Next up, we have Marty York, who played Yeah Yeah. Now, if you look at Yeah Yeah as a kid, he's a scrawny little thing, and now he's anything but. He's 39 now, juggles acting gigs, Boy Meets World, Hey Arnold, The Eric Andre Show. Now he kind of focuses on fitness, and you can see that. He personally trains on the side and still does acting. Did an episode of the Golden Globes nominated show Smilf in 2017. Next up is Brandon Quinton Adams. He played Kenny. He's now 40, was a prolific child actor well before The Sandlot. He appeared in Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, A Different World, The Mighty Ducks, one and two. He might have been in three, but I don't remember. He's dabbling in acting and branching out in voice acting for a couple of video games. But he's also a family man. I'm still acting. I'm a dad forever, he said. Next up is Grant Gilt, who played Bertram Grover Weeks. Gilt, 40, stepped away from acting in the 90s, currently lives and works in Nashville. He does business development and runs a creative agency for tech companies. Hmm. Next up is Victor Domeni, who played Timmy Timmons. 39, works steadily as a child actor and books small roles in dozens of TV shows. Punky Brewster, Designing Women, Married with Children. He's still acting and also is trying his hand at voice at podcasting. He's still doing acting, a little bit of writing. I do a podcast called Vic in the Box, so check that out. Next up, we have Shane Obozinski, who played Tommy, repeat Timmons, Tommy's brother. Not Shane appeared in My Girl. But he transitioned away from acting as he got older. He now lives and works in Florida. He owns a restaurant. And he might be getting back into acting. He's trying some stuff on the side while he can. And finally, we have Marley Shelton, who played Wendy Peppercorn, the lifeguard that Squints pretended to be drowning so he could, she could save him and give him mouth to mouth. Uh, she's been acting nonstop. She was in Nixon, Pleasantville, Never Been Kissed, 
Scream 4, well, we know she's been kissed because, we, you know, we saw that scene. I'm kidding, of course. She also started Mad Men and other roles, uh, so she's still going strong. So there you go. There's the cast and what they're up to and what they look like and how they've changed from The Sandlot. Again, if you've never seen the movie, go see it. Make it a family night. You can watch it with the family. It still holds up today, even though it came out in 1993. Just a fun, fun, fun movie. Uh, if you like what we're doing, share this video. Give us a like. Subscribe. We're, we're starting to hit our strides on subscribing. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Bye.